Are you ready? Today, I have an awesome isometric training routine using resistance bands. Let's go, boom! Hey, what's up? I'm Jason Kelly and creator of The Balance. If you're looking to instantly get stronger, faster, and be more explosive, or maybe you're just searching for the warrior and athlete within, well, this channel's for you. So make sure you like and subscribe to The Balance so you can receive future notifications based on more health, strength, and fitness programs. All right, without further ado, let's get started with isometric training using resistance bands. I love using resistance bands for isometric training because you can instantly uh, and immediately uh, change the lever of the movement. For example, if I'm doing a chest press, I can put it here and I can automatically change the resistance band to have tension here and then have the tension here closer in the beginning of my movement. And the same goes for all these exercises using a squat, a deadlift, a lat pull, a shoulder press, etc. The resistance band is great because of this aspect and therefore you don't have to wait and lose time changing and set up and you can just instantly adjust the band and for every movement to increase or decrease the leverage. And in future segments, I'll show you how to do, to do unilateral work using uh, isometric training with resistance bands as well. But for now, let's learn how to use one resistance band and do it bilaterally and therefore you can get the ball rolling into the next level of your training. So like I said, the nice thing about using a resistance band is that you can change positions very quickly by just pulling on the resistance band. So you can see I'm, I'm using three different types of uh, movements here from the top to middle to the bottom and for the deadlift. And here's a variation. You can hook it under a machine and it'll give you a little bit more resistance for your hamstrings. And here's the seated row. And again, we're gonna use three different types of positions. You can use one, two, three. It depends on what you want. So I'm teaching you all three here. And you can see by simply me moving my back, uh, moving backwards and pulling on a resistance bands will help work with that middle position. And then you can adjust the resistance bands uh, instantly to get more leverage from the uh, arms being straight. And the same with the squat. The squat is very similar to the deadlift, except you're bending your knees here. And you can work from parallel uh, quarter squat position, uh, even up into a standing position where you can squeeze your quads and glutes. Shrugs is a, is a good one. And make sure that you use your feet to separate the band because that will give you more resistance through the pull. And here's a bent over lat pull, and you can do a lat pull as well from uh, up above a bar or a tree branch. And again, you just move yourself forward and just pull on the resistance bands and that'll give you that isometric tension. And again, one more step and just keep pulling. So that's how easy it is to create the tension. And here's a chest press, and I'm in a lunge position here. Uh, you can do it with both feet together um, but I like the lunge position because it makes me work with my whole body here with my, my back leg and forward leg as well. And so here's the position uh, with both legs. And here's a variation. If you don't want to hook it around something, just put it around your body. The lunge, you can work three different positions from the lunge. You can work from that mid position with the knee. Uh, in the middle off the floor and then bring the knee into a bent position and then from the bent position you can go into a straight leg there so make sure you're squeezing your quads and glutes tricep pulls very similar uh, to the seated row is just keep make a step backwards and you get to that midpoint position and then take another step backwards and you can get into your arms extended a little bit more in front of you The bicep curl. The bicep curl, you would use your feet here to uh, adjust the tension of the resistance band. As you can see, I, I close my feet there and it helps to bring it up to the mid position. I'm using a pretty tense cord here, a pretty tense resistance band here. So that's why it's, I have to adjust my feet there. Uh, but to be the same with all of them. And here's an alteration of the bicep curl here. 
uh, if you want to wrap it around a pole or something like that. I like this one because you get a little bit more leverage, uh, especially this part here. When you lean back, you can really work that beginning part of the bicep curl. And calf raise. So you can put this around your, your uh, in a, some type of bench or some type of bar and do a calf raise. You can actually put it under your feet too and pull up and that'll give you some good resistance as well. And here's just another variation into a bent over position uh, with uh, using the calf raise. Shoulder press. So shoulder press, you might want to uh, go to a little bit lighter band here and then get into the upper above your head, putting your arms above your head. Again, with your feet, separate the band and that'll give you more tension in when you pull it up uh, above your above your chest. Okay, and then I didn't really need to separate so much because it was tough in that midpoint position. Upright row, same idea as the chest press and all the other ones is that you just move your feet. As you can see, I took a wider stance there and that makes the midpoint position a little bit harder in its tension. Okay, wider stance into the beginning one. And here's a variation too where I have both ends of the cord in my hand. The lateral raise. Similar, again, I would use a lighter band here and then just adjust it to position under my feet because it's a little bit lighter so I have to stand on it just a little bit more. And then, again, adjust to the bottom position. So like I said, it's really simple and easy and it's very effective to uh, adjust the band's tension uh, rather than having equipment or the cable machine where you have to keep adjusting the bar, or keep adjusting the weight, just, it's easy. Adjust your feet or adjust the slack of the band. And then you have it. Isometric training with resistance bands. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed this segment on resistance bands and isometric training. Make sure to like, subscribe to my channel for future notifications based on more isometric training, strength, fitness, health, and nutrition. And make sure you share this video with other people who are interested in this type of training. Take care and have a balanced day.